Warning. Hydrochloric acid, muriatic acid, or whatever you want to call it, is strongly acidic. It can cause permanent blindness if it gets in your eyes. Even the mist can cause eye damage. It can cause chemical burns on contact with the skin. Using hydrochloric acid to kill weeds in your yard is no doubt outside the intended purpose of this product. Even exercising the greatest of care using hydrochloric acid to kill weeds is borderline reckless. Because of the great potential for harm, any actions carried out are at your own risk. Do not carry out the actions depicted in this video without proper education and or training. This video is being created to show the efficacy of um, muriatic acid in weed killing. Uh, so I have some uh, muriatic acid that I purchased. Unfortunately, this is the, the environmentally uh, friendly kind, which is supposedly 90% less fumes than uh, standard muriatic acid. So I'm guessing less HCl, uh, active ingredient hydrochloric acid, but it has done the job in the past. So the good thing about the muriatic acid is you just spray it right on the weed and then move on. Spray on the weed, move on. Spray on the weed, move on. And I'm just going to keep spraying as I go. Uh, just aim for the base of the weed. Um, and that way it gets uh, basically, well, it's not even taken up by the roots. Uh, what it is is uh, strong acids will uh, denature proteins uh, in a way similar to cooking. So when you spray the weeds with this, you're cooking them uh, and killing them pretty effectively. Uh, I, I prefer to use the muriatic acid for this rather than regular weed killers uh, because the excess will just evaporate into the environment. Um, you know, it's a small amount of muriatic acid when you go and try to find this stuff. They'll sell it as a, a driveway acid, is uh, what my local Home Depot likes to call it. Uh, even though there's other uh, uses for it, such as uh, removing calcium uh, carbonate scale, uh, clean, cleaning uh, various equipments. Uh, but they'll call it driveway acid at my local Home Depot. So, you know, you, the, the special uh, precautions you're going to want to take with this is when you are spraying it, you're creating a mist. Uh, it's essentially a gas dissolved in water. Uh, so when you create that mist, uh, there, there's going to be some fuming. Um, and so it's good to wear a face shield or uh, some other protective equipment when you're going at it. Um, also gloves. Uh, I'm, I'm wearing just a, a nitrile glove, uh, which is only covering part of my hand. Um, but you might want to wear some full-length gauntlet style gloves. You want to set your sprayer to uh, just a stream. Uh, that way you're not hitting any other things because uh, this will kill most everything you spray it on. If you notice here, most of my lawn is actually uh, uh, moss so the good thing about that is moss loves acid so it, it'll appear to die back it'll change uh, yellow in color in the areas that I have some overspray but then after it sits for a while um, the moss comes back and regains its color and looks just fine so in my yard in my situation it's not the worst of issues however you know if you, you have a nice, green, beautiful yard and you're trying to kill a bunch of weeds in this manner, uh, you'll end up with a bunch of yellow spots. And yes, th they will grow back, uh, but you know, you're gonna have that immediate downturn. So the, the most satisfying thing probably of uh, using muriatic acid as a weed killer, uh, aside from having this kind of pinpoint accuracy of just killing everything, uh, is that by the time you come back around to an area you've already done, usually the weeds are already dead and wilted and fa fallen over. Uh, unlike, you know, glycosidal uh, weed killers, uh, the weeds don't develop resistance to this. They just get burned and die. Um, and, and also, you know, it's not something that lingers in the environment. Hydrochloric acid, hydrogen chloride, uh, is androgynous in the environment. I'm not sure if that's the correct word. Um, you know, it's naturally present. So a little, little bit of it really doesn't hurt anything major. Uh, unless you get it on you and you get that kind of acute uh, treatment. So we've come back around to the front uh, to the area that's already been sprayed. And you'll notice the center of that has now turned yellow. And the center of this one uh, is also turned yellow. I'll give another spray, but it's actually had plenty. Um, and I just go through and I just spray everything in my yard and it takes one treatment and then after that everything is dead. Um, 
one thing you do have to be careful of is when you're done with this you need to clean out the the mechanism so flush it with a bunch of water otherwise you the thing will corrode and die pretty quickly